Hello, Munir Ajam, one more time. Uh, this is a continuation video on the previous video on the Pumbak Guide. Uh, in this video, we're going to talk about uh, the missing processes. Uh, I'm not going to talk about all what I think is missing. Uh, you know, in my methodology, in the camp model, we have 76 processes. The Pumbak has 47, so there are almost 30 processes difference between us. So I'm not going to talk about all of those. I'm just going to focus on what's explained in the Pumbak Guide versus what is uh, written or uh, is uh, is an independent process. So if we look at the Pumba guide, there are 47 processes. Um, however, if we read the Pumba guide, there are obviously we can one can conclude there should be more than 47 processes. What am I talking about? Again, um, I'm giving an opinion and I stand to be corrected if someone have uh, answers for this. Uh, would love to hear it. If we look at ISO, let me move away from the Pumba guide for, for a minute. If we look at ISO 21500, in the initiating process group, they have a process called Established Project Team. If we come to the Pumba guide the HR chapter, we notice there is Plan HR and Planning. There is nothing in Initiating. It's Plan HR and Planning. Then when we go to Executing, we have the Acquire the Team. So if we read the Pumbak guide, if we read the uh, table 3.1, which is the list of all the processes of the Pumbak guide, one can think that, hmm, I only have the theme and execution. But who does the planning? Aren't they part of the team? Who does, uh, who is the project manager? Isn't the project manager part of the team? So that raises the question, is that don't we need a process that we might call it select and appoint project manager? What do you think? I mean, I know unless we deal with an accidental project management uh, syndrome where maybe the, uh, the the boss, the director or the GM or the CEO of the company will walk out in the hallway and will pick, ah, you know, X, why don't you come and manage this project? If that's the way it is done, then of course we do not need the process for managing, pro for pro selecting project manager. But in many projects, selecting the project manager is, uh, is an important action that requires some analysis and planning and might take days or weeks or months, on, especially on the larger and more complex project. So why isn't there a process for it? Okay, maybe it is given. Okay, let's assume that. Then let's go to the planning. Who does the planning? Unless the project manager is the guy who does it all, they wear all the hats, then there has to be a team, the project management team, that work with the project manager to develop the project plan, including the scope and the requirements and the quality and the HR and the staffing and the process improvement and all of these other areas. Okay? So, where, where is this team? Where is it selected? I still put it in initiating. Pumabak mention it. You know, it doesn't mention it directly, but of course, you know, it's implied that we need the team. Yeah, but there is no process for selecting the team or even deciding, for example, you know, how many team members we need and what kind of specialties we need and what kind of resources and what kind of roles of responsibility. All of this is not even mentioned. Again, maybe you agree or you disagree. Uh, I think there should be a process for that. Staying with HR. Um, in the third edition and before, there used to be a process called manage the team. And that manage the team process used to be in the control area. Now, when the fourth edition update was done, and with the fifth edition, it stayed the same, uh, the team moved that process because it has the word manage. So maybe the assumption was anything that has the word manage, it has to go to execution. So they managed that process. In reality, what they should have done, they should have split it up. Because now, HR is the only chapter in the book, the only knowledge area that doesn't have a control process. What does it say? Does it, is it, I mean, right now it's implying that we don't control the team. Now, one time we posted a video, uh, I posted an article on this, and somebody said, well, control is not a good word for uh, team, we don't control team, you know. Uh, basically, the person was talking from the, the perspective that people are not puppets. I'm not talking about puppets or dictatorship that, you know, I'm going to control the people that, you know, basically order them to do what I, what I say. I'm talking about control and the aspect of monitoring and control. I mean, what is the, let's go back to the purpose of the process group monitoring and control. What is it? Monitoring is for us to monitor performance to see if we have any deviation. And if there are deviation from plan, we need to take corrective action. So let's say we have a team that we don't have enough people. We're short-handed. What do we do? We discover that, like, look, the team is not able to catch up 
we need more people, you know, we need to take action. We need either need to add people or, or uh, extend the duration of the project. Isn't this a monitoring controlling process? Or let's say we have someone on the team who's not qualified or not trained and I cannot train them or a bad person, yeah, or a corrupt person. What do we do? You know, we, we can do, we cannot, I mean, control isn't about discovering that there are issues and then taking action. So isn't, is this a missing process? Is this an error, a mistake, or just not needed? I leave it up to you. Again, if you read the processes, we understand that there are, uh, there is something called develop project management, change management plan, and develop configuration management plan. There are no independent processes for these. In a recent uh, discussion, I talked about change management. And in my view, change management is one of the weakest areas in the Pumba guide. However, let's stay focused here. Does the concept of developing a change management plan important enough to deserve an independent process? Or it's okay to bury it under the overall develop and manage plan, management plan? Same thing with configuration management. Okay. Again, I'm not against that. You know, they could be. But they are now, what we are saying is that they are not important enough to be independent processes, so we bury them somewhere else. The same thing with staffing plan, developing staffing plan. That's not an HR plan. HR, develop HR management plan is about managing the human resource on the team. Okay? Uh, and that is more of a management process, but we need a process for developing staffing plan. Uh, again, it's not, forget what I'm just saying, uh, or what my opinion is, the Pumbuck explained it that says there is something called an HR management plan and there is something called the staffing management plan. So, where is the staffing management plan? As part of the HR. So again, we are feeling we, the, the argument here is not independent enough. It is not important enough to, do, to require an independent process. One more, in this case, process improvement plan as well. It's also buried in quality management. Again, I'm not uh, with this video on the previous videos. Maybe I should start to conclude here. The point is not, I mean, again, I could be wrong. I, I could be overblowing things. I could be making uh, a big deal out of nothing. Uh, regardless, remember, you know, ideally the Pumba guide is supposedly PMI brag that is about 5 million copies out of this books out in the world. People are using it to become certified. Okay. Doesn't the organization like PMI have an obligation to make sure that their processes and the content of these guides are consistent and they don't have inconsistency or contradiction or even errors and gaps? I know PMI answer for this because they put it on the cover page inside every Pumbag, every standard they publish, said we're not responsible. These are these guides are being published by volunteer and volunteer consensus. We don't interfere, we don't judge, we don't review, we don't uh, make sure that they are correct. We are not responsible. We are just basically putting the volunteer together to develop these standards. I can understand this as a voluntarily, this is the way PMI said, it's a type of volunteer work. I can understand this for a small organization, a poor organization that have only maybe a few hundred members. They don't have money to hire staff. But with an organization like PMI, selling the Pumba guide for 50 or 60 or $70, okay? Or or whatever else, an organization was more than $400 million in assets, uh, if, not, if I'm not mistaken, if not more. Okay, don't we deserve that basically these guide in, in an organization like PMI hi, hire a group of experts to ensure the consistency and these guides have no errors? What do you think? I mean, let's argue for a moment, or let's not argue, let's talk about that. You don't agree with some of my comments, but you have, that I definitely created your curiosity to ask question. If you email PMI today, is there anybody in PMI that can answer a technical question for us? Or is PMI just become an organization of uh, business people and basically administering and managing memberships and, and certification? Is there any act group of experts that can answer? Or is it not necessary? I mean, maybe uh, just the momentum of the organization is moving that people don't question the need for having a group of experts. If I have a question, a technical question around about certification or the PMP or the PGMP or the PUMBAC or the program management standard or the earned value management standard, who can I ask? 
Volunteers? Okay, connect me with the volunteers who wrote these things. Can anybody correct me, for example, with the team who decided to move the managed team from control uh, to executing? Can someone connect me with the people who basically uh, decided that uh, the charter is called the, the process is only for the project or it should have the develop project charter name or why audit is only uh, is in one process and one knowledge area is, a, is an executing process another one is control another one is closing can anyone answer these questions I'll say let's end here have a good day